The first time I got admitted into the hospital, it's because I tried suicide and I just felt really alone at the time and the kids at school weren't very nice. I was in seventh grade and it was a pretty hard time. Um, I was losing friends, kids were getting into drugs, I didn't know what to really do. So I got really scared and I just like didn't think going on was a great idea so I just tried to end my life. So the second time that Katie tried to hurt herself, I found out she had been passing out the day before. Um, she just was overloaded with so many emotions. She had started passing out. Um, she would literally just black out and hit the floor. She went to go take a bath, and I went in and checked on her, knowing that she'd been passing out. I didn't want her in the bathtub by herself. I came back out and sitting on the couch with my youngest, um, and all of a sudden I hear her yelling, and she came out of the bathtub, wrapped in a towel, with blood streaming down both of her arms. I cut one arm from my wrist to my shoulder, and my other arm to my wrist to my elbow. And I did it because Sometimes when you're so upset, you can feel really numb and you don't know like, is this real life? Is this just like a nightmare? Is this a dream? What's going on? As a parent, it's one of the hardest things I think that I've had to face. Um, the last thing you want to think about is burying your teenage daughter. So I spoke up to my family and my friends and I have more people here to help me like, yeah, I still have my times where I feel alone, but I know I'm not alone.